Good morning. Welcome to the ABC of Waterproofing. I'm Nati Smith of Atlas Roofing and today we'll be doing a demonstration of liquid and membrane waterproofing systems. I want to remind you of the five P's when it comes to doing any good job. Proper preparation prevents poor performance and that pertains to the systems that we'll be using. On our big board on the right hand side the liquid and membrane system has definite steps that you need to adhere to. The preparation of surfaces is very important, like with any liquid paint system. Uh, priming of the surface, you need to correct, choose the correct primer, because uh, bitumen compounds, acrylic compounds, polyurethane compounds have different primers. Saturation system uh, of your system, of your membrane, the placing of the membrane, Application of a first top coat, a second top coat, in a crisscross fashion or basket weave pattern. And then if you have a non-UV stable product, to put a right top coat on that. So essentially it's a four coat system. On the table in front of me, we have a board prepared. And once again, I remind you that there are so many systems out there, so many suppliers. And that each company has its own data sheets. And you need to study those to um, get to know the correct uh, procedures for each system. So today we'll be doing a little demonstration on how not to do it and the correct method. The how not to do it, and here I have the liquid and the membrane and the brush. The how not to do it will go first. And we're just bringing our liquid a bit closer. Uh, and... This is often how the people will do the installation. They'll just take the uh, paintbrush and the liquid and they'll do the application right over the membrane. And often this is done to work faster, to save on time and um, as subcontractors get paid by jobs done, this is the method they'll employ. And this system, the liquid and membrane system, has a very bad name in our industry because of the application being done wrong. The system itself is fine. If you look at the right hand side, we did a prime coat which has now dry. So on top of the prime coat, we're now following our steps on the board. We've done the prime coat. Now we will do what we call the saturation coat. The saturation coat is a litre per square metre, tell, which tells you it's a very, very thick coat. And I often say, just do it twice, then you know you've got enough material uh, on the board, or on the tile, or on the roof. There we can see quite enough. And now the crucial phase, where I'll be step putting down my membrane, and if people sometimes use the same brush to hit it, my demonstration, I use a fluted aluminium roller. And this ensures that the liquid pulls through the membrane from the bottom up. And we get full saturation. At this point in time, the system is saturated from the bottom up. And now it's followed by two top coats. Top coat one in the one direction. And top coat two will go in the opposite direction. In this way, we'll be using two liters per square meter for the full system. And that is applicable for rubberized bitumen, acrylic membranes, and let me say, the membrane is very important. It keeps everything together. So, liquid membrane system in a nutshell. Thank you, Nati signing off.